Hello, welcome back to End of Fate 2 and Less Run. And I guess oh, we'll go for the round of goblins. It seems the goblins okay. have become organized. Do what you will. We attend the summons of a high-ranking cleric with the city within the city. Goblins! The gaunt pale clergyman clicks like the stinking wretches have invaded sacred ground and are even now dec desecrating all manner of holy relics. He extends a crooked finger to emphasize his point, saying, Violence is strictly forbidden within the hall chamber of the mausoleum, on pain of explosion from the our holy order and light upon the soul. The old man looks up you up and down. As a common cell sort, however, I expect that you will have no issue with getting the job done. An armed guard dressed in the familiar white and red of the older Kalas Might provides a scroll granting access to the charter that houses the entrance to the tombs. No good will come of this. Hmm. I don't think I'll be able to write this. Two blessings, we have none, deliver free weapons. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Or we can use our two blessings. So, a rowdy group of young noblemen approach you as you live at this reputable tavern. Mercenary, one of them calls. We have need of weapons. No, no, that's the off that sort of issue. I'm mean, rubbish. Tell me that can make a man on fire. Oh, not the youth adds. Or that makes a corpse explode. A fist cuts in. You know the sort. Can you supply them for us? We need them by the first night of the carnival of slaughter so we can enter the arena battles. We will spill blood like mighty cows and no one will stand before us. They begin a lively chanting of in bloodshed and go glory. They agree to the task as they continue on their way into the tavern. Do not underthink your decisions. Okay, let's take Soothsayer and maybe Trading House, Portal Crypto, Lion Kingdoms, Petty Defense, uh, Pass Armory, Intriguing Sword, Marksman's Bane, Gamble Jewel, and maybe Ruby Ring. Hmm. The Lord's Diadem and Reinforce Shield. A third adventure awaits you. You understand now that these challenges will stretch until time itself ends. Mm. Yeah, I can buy it. We still need it. Do won't. you use this for its holy virtues or its cutting edge? Mm -hmm. no. Once I viewed the role of fortune teller okay. with contempt. Since my recovery, I have needed to pose as one at times in order to make a living. Now that I understand them far better, I loathe them even more. Yeah, I mistook the soothsayer for something else. Uh, she focuses on you, thinking for a moment, and tells you the outcome of your quest. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Eh. Uh, no. Uh. Oh, thank you. No, no, no. I'm not going on the quest. <laughs> thank you. It'd be horrible. Even the Blessings thing that... are a viable currency in these parts. <laughs> I have nothing to offer. E. Not yet. Let me see the last encounter. Oh, Fame and glory this. ease the path to success, if nothing else. Okay. Go again. I'm doing the course, okay. 23 gold, okay. Ah, but I didn't play. Right then. Leave. Thank you. I guess it works. Keep walking in the light of grace, and this ring will favor you. Hmm, we're going against goblins, not against empire, so... Yeah, our pulls is... Um, our pull is nice. Wait, wait, yep, that's the right one, I think. I'll try to bait as many rival reposts from Nurse as I can. Oh no, those are the trappers. Hit me. Oh 
Come on, get me. Fuck you. Finally, go to make it free. What if we told not really anything? Well, I can use this to trade my stuff if I want to. Not quite. Wait. Oh, defeat them with a finisher. Okay, that's different. Not the most. Mm. Trade one piece of equipment, I guess. And give away one blade. Oh, I was. Wait, what's. Oh, yeah. I'll give up this one. Thank you. And yeah, if. Oh, no, no, not yet. I'm still looking for Yvette. A tremendous flash of light heralds the arrival of an immense creature hovering overhead. Your mind reels in its enormity. Its presence alone is enough to bend and warp the trees around you, throwing the branches upward through some unseen force. The creature peers down at you expectantly. Your dolorous diadem begins to vibrate, drifting up toward the great creature. No, 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 give that back. Will give that, it will give back. <laughs> you keep a firm grasp on your lord's diadem. I am here on a mission of Diane. I beg for your donation to the warrior fort. What are you? That is a question not easily answered. Service is to say I have traveled a great distance. I am gathering weapons and arms by my masters in the way. Anything you can spare will be greatly appreciated. Once we are victorious, I will return with rewards far greater than what which has been sacrificed. No. Eventually, each gaze returns to the horizon of a noise like thunder and vanishes from sight. I cannot give up my stuff. I like them. Just like that, attack them, attack them. I'll handle the little one, you deal with the rest, okay? Okay. They fit 25 goblins. Ooh, that's nice. 
Was ist das? Was ist das? Damn it. I wanted... I wanted to change my weapon. Oh, these are some thieves. Yeah, I wanted to swap weapon with a goblin sword. Oh, he I took my... Not you. Damn. Yep. I think Robin has no longer cooldown now. As well, cooldown. The amount of hits I need to execute before it charges up. Take back your winter's pain. Thank you. Wait, didn't I get rid of it? <laughs> I got rid of it at the trading house. Nice. I would not risk my skin for mere Ooh. treasure. I will. You do as you see fit. This, this is very nice treasure. Treasure. I don't. Okay, it's curse. I don't really want to have anything to do with it. Many never recover fully from the sickness that fills the fens. Oh, this is the courage. We we're gonna try. And the gold one. Damn it! So close! <laughs> hmm. What an unfortunate time for your skills to leave you. I know. Oh, is that uh, something home? Uh, I I think that. Golden uh, sandwich. Maybe I should change to this. This no, which one was it? I think it was this one. Yeah. A oh, balance of resources is key. No one wants to perish wealthy, but starving. While browsing the market of a small town, you are interrupted by the arrival of a company of mounted soldiers led by a handsome man found the Rubis, the Red King. We bring warning of a terrible army ahead this way, he shouts. The vile Blue Kingdom, known perpetrators of barbaric acts to men and child, are invading your lands. A gasp goes up from the small crowd of, towns of townsfolk. Take hope, the strange king continues, for we of the noble Red Kingdom will not let you perish. We seek able bodies warriors to join our cause and stand against the blue peril. He is interrupted by the sudden arrival of a second band of mounted soldiers dressed in blue at the opposite end of the market. This group is led by a thin, several woman, the Blue Queen. Stand down, foolish old man, the queen cries. You shall not claim this fine village or any other while we draw breath, she addresses the peasants. The Red Kingdom is an infamous for its ruthless tactics as it is for their insane customs. Join our crusade to end the Red Menace once and for all. The Red King, face screwed up with fury, grabs a tart from a shocked bystander and flings at the blue queen. It splats a few strides short and she makes a jeering noise. The town folk stands, stand quietly looking looking from one band of armed soldiers to the other. Why are they all four? 
The Red King shouts fiercely. Everyone knows that the depraved citizens of the Blue Kingdom eat baked pastry with their breakfast. A cry of disgust erupts from the band of the Red of Red Soldiers. The Blue Soldiers stare angrily and their queen spurs her nose, forced into a trot. As everyone raised in a civilized society does, it is only the depraved subjects of the Red Kingdom who eat baked pastry with their supper. Even the simple farmers wouldn't sto stoop so low. Soldiers of both kingdoms draw their sabers and wave them fiercely in the air, threatening to charge each other right through the gathered crowd. The town mayor, a thin rake of a man with grey hair, implores you to intervene. Eh. I'll prefer my best tree for the breakfast. Welcome to the mo Wait, what? Oh, no, I prefer it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Welcome to the most noble Red Kingdom. I shall now complete the initiation ritual. The Red King shoots a smug look over to the survival who rolls her, her eyes. <gasps> a warning, warrior, the Blue Queen declares. By allying yourself with the repugnant Red Kingdom, you have made an enemy of the Blue Kingdom and of all people of pure heart across the land. Taking your lead, the people of the village turn to the Red Kingdom as they begin to hand out small red cakes. The Blue Queen hisses and leads her soldiers out of the small village, presumably on the small fish to the small fishing town you passed earlier that day. You should have taken more care. Yeah. As you pass through the city cemetery, a band of warlike goblins suddenly bursts from concealment to surround you. Prepare a to let nobody in! A mother gummy squeaks. Stand up! Bolt your bones! Drink them all! You ain't drinking anything. But what you will do is choke on your own blood. The mournful wastes groan under the weight of his untold stories and buried lives. The sword is but one of them. How did you not get the message? We're not to be messed with. Oh. Wait, what? Okay. No finishers. God damn it. Whoa, that was nice. The savage goblins lie still at your feet as you pick with all the elements for anything of value. This may be the last one. <laughs> you approach the mausoleum cautiously, the sound of goblins clear drifting from the main door. Inside you see a band of armed goblins sitting on idly. They seem to be waiting for something. Ooh, that's loud. Hello! A goblin voice suddenly pulls out, starting. Are you here for the funeral? The goblin beside you asks. A human! A goblin cries from them. Protect his holiness! The ritual mustn't be interrupted! There's two of them. Push. A one is the big creepy. But the guard, His Holiness, the Grand Bishop of Golden Town, stands ready to defend the crypt. Golden Chiefs avoid physical confrontation. Yep. No, 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 you don't. What's happening? 
play this move right. Okay, I think it works. Okay, kill. And one by one. Hear me? Wait, I think something. I know something. Where is he? Oh no 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 no! No, you don't. Try and kill him, this is not the sense. <laughs> oh, and he's below. Hmm. Another one. How many do you have up there? He's dead. Oh, oh no, no, no. Nope. No, 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 I was way too close. <laughs> and you know what? Actually, I think we're dead from starvation. It's like a new move. With the goblins band defeated, you move to inspect the tomb itself. To your surprise, none of the cold sarcophaguses have been touched. Casket, woven from wreaths and surrounded by an unusual collection of jewels and hats, sits beside a finely carved coffin. The goblin with an enormous Dome had finished us reciting something in a strange tongue as he approached. He always wanted to be late to rest here with his friend. The old goblin stayed before suddenly blowing a horn and disappearing into a portal. Moments later, the woven casket of crackles with green magic and dissolves into dust. Good work, mercenary, the bishop says as he quiet his payment. It seems you stopped them before they could ransack your room. On the first night of the carnival of slaughter, you make your way to the arena. Mercenary, a familiar voice calls. Have you brought us still magic as we that we made be champions of this night? This one. Yeah. Yeah. The lads grab eagerly at the equipment you have provided. From the way they handle the weapons, you have seriously doubted over their fate in the arena. Oh, like, whoa. Let us delve deeper still into the secrets of this game. But I really don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> you know what? No, let's forfeit this one. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, oh. Okay, let's go for that. I must finish the encounter. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I doubt you have the courage yes. to choose more at this point. Really? A you are saying this? Move. Let us see how <laughs> that decision fares. I'm trying to end this encounter. Yep, I want to finish. I want to open my tokens. So I get more cards. Now you have a lot to think about. Mm. Don't take too long about it. Mm, just a little of those. Are we done now? Good. <laughs> A fourth adventure. <sighs> Good. Yep. But I won't forfeit it. Yep. I don't really care about the score. 
I want this to help you guys. Or anyone. And here, desert check. Lion Harp and Goblin Town. Yes. That will do. For and a beginning. that concludes our first endless adventure. Thank you very much. Stay away and see you soon. Bye.